Welcome to episode 2 of my Houston Texans franchise rebuild. This episode we will be getting the entire preseason out of the way. Last episode we went through the entire offseason. I signed a ton of free agents near the end and uh, have set up the depth chart the way I want to see it at the beginning of the game. And we are going to probably just watch most of the drives that Spitzer plays our number two overall quarterback. And we'll watch some of the other drives later in the game to see how some of these newer undrafted free agents play. Preseason football. I get hyped for it every year. I watch maybe the first 20 minutes of the first game and then turn it off. Because preseason football is usually not very good. All right, here comes rookie quarterback Joe Spitzer under center. And I believe it's going to be Tariq Cohen in the backfield. If I mess up any names in the preseason or forget any names in the preseason, please forgive me because I will be trying to remember all of them after we get the final roster. But we start with a nine-yard game. Now Spitzer's back in shotgun. See where he goes with this ball. And it's going to be a handoff. I believe that's Cohen, and he is blown up in the backfield. All right, now he's going back under center. I believe it's still Cohen in the backfield, or it might be Cameron Glass. And he gives it to the running back, and he gets the first down. That was actually Cohen for a game of about four. Have not seen our rookie quarterback throw the ball yet. But we will hear out of shotgun. Spitzer under pressure, and he meets Chase Young. Not a great first drop back for our young guy. And I have to get the ball out a little bit quicker than that, Spitzer. And now he goes to the outside, caught by Cohen, and apparently that's going to be a focal point of our offense, but he does have his first career completion. But it is now third and 15. Let's see if he can just heave this and get a first down. Does he have the time? Under pressure, gets rid of the ball, and almost picked off. That was intended for Cameron Glass, our undrafted running back. And now we will just punt the ball back to Washington. Like I said, I'll watch most of the drives with Spitzer and at quarterback, but I also want to see how our defense plays. And the first play goes to Gibson, and he gets tackled after a gain of about four by 41. Not even going to lie, no idea who that is yet. Oh, Zach Cunningham. He's actually on the real Texans. Second and six out of shotgun. Heineke to the outside, and that is dropped by Terry McLaurin. And goes to the outside, caught by Gibson, and blown up immediately by Zach Cunningham for a loss of one. So now they will punt back to us. And I believe it is Tariq Cohen back to return the punts. And it will not matter. That is, oh my god, getting down at about the two. All right, Spitzer. Uh, have fun with a 99-yard drive, apparently. See what our offensive coordinator decides to do. Under pressure and sack in the end zone for a safety. Not exactly how we envisioned Joe Spitzer's start. Heineke with the snap, handoff up the middle to Antonio Gibson, and he is going to be brought down by 25. And let's see if it tells me who that is. That is Desmond King, another person who's actually on the Texans. Can any of my guys that I signed make a play? See what Heineke does out of shotgun here. It's a screen to Gibson, and he is met and brought down immediately by 97 and 90. I know one of those is Blacklock. 97 might be Malik Collins. Like I said, I will commit to learn more of these once we have our final roster. And open first down. Who was on the coverage? Is that one of my guys that I signed? Probably. Yep, that was Landon Collins on coverage. That was a good play from 30, which I believe is our rookie corner. Third and five now for Heineke. And throws it. Guys open. Does he get the first down, though? They have Alan Lazard now? Also, during the regular season, I'll look at depth charts before the game actually kicks off so I know who is playing for the other team. Like, right there. Okay, they're going to go for it on fourth and inches, up by two. And they're not going to run the ball. It's a quick pass to the outside, and it is caught. I believe that's Logan Thomas and Jason Verrett on the tackle. Heineke is 7 of 10 already today. 
And now going over the middle again, or to the outside, sorry, Logan Thomas once again, I believe. Heineke under pressure, and he is sacked on the play by Greener. Jonathan Greenard, I believe. That could be wrong. Third and goal. Heineke. Under pressure again and sacked on the play by uh, Jacob Martin, I believe is his name. And that'll bring up fourth and goal from the 27. All right, possibly the last drive for Spitzer, and he's going to hand off to Tariq Cohen for a gain of about two. And Spitzer goes to the outside and caught. Who caught that? Oh, Tariq Cohen. All right, third and five. Come on, keep the drive alive, Spitzer. Come on, you got to get rid of it. You got to get rid of that. Definitely oblivious to pressure. All right, we will simulate uh, this drive like this on second and ten. Get a three-yard gain. Third and seven. All right, so it's the fourth and one. And on fourth and one, they punted away. So, all right, so I decided to put Spitzer back in. I think he needs at least one more quarter. So let's see what he can do now. But he has Cameron Glass at running back, and I kept in some of the rookie linemen, but I put, like, Laramie Tunsil back in so he doesn't completely die. So let's see if he actually uses Glass a little more so we can actually start throwing the ball. He is, he is using all the backup receivers now, but hopefully he doesn't get under pressure as much. And there he goes over the middle. That's Cameron Glass. That's our rookie running back. And he did get the first down on that, so that's pretty good. Maybe we can actually move the ball against the Washington backup defense now. And hand off to Cameron Glass with the middle, and he has almost a first down. And Glass looks like he is already tired. So now out of shotgun, we'll have to see what Spitzer's going to do with the ball. It's going to be a read option. Spitzer keeps it himself, breaks a tackle, and then is brought down but gets the first. And Reggie Simon, I believe, uh, one of our undrafted rookies, is already hurt. It's kind of hoping we could throw the ball a little bit today, guys. First and ten. Under pressure. Sacked. Fumble. Recovered by Washington. All right. Third and goal for our defense. Let's see if they can stop Drew Locke, who is now in at quarterback for Washington. Locke takes the snap, and under pressure, and sacked on the play. That is Ross Blacklock. They do make the field goal, though, so it is now 8-0. And let's get back to see if uh, Spitzer can do anything now. No matter what, this will be Spitzer's last drive of this game. If he doesn't show any promise here, he's just not going to have a great debut. It's already pretty rough. First and 10. Hand off to Glass, and blown up. And that's another read option. He'll keep himself and be brought down after a gain of about five. Are they running read options because I have Arizona's playbook? I mean, probably, but I was kind of more of like, you know, that airing it out part of their playbook. There we go. He's just going to heave one deep, and he's got nobody because he overthrows everyone down there. Third and five. It's a 17-yard pass to Lazard. And hits another 18-yard pass, this time to Lazard, to put them at the two-yard line. And they get into the end zone. All right, we're not going to watch anything of Davis Mills, but let's just see what he can do. First and 10, a two-yard gain. Second and eight, thrown away. Third and eight, 21 yards to Brevin Jordan. Okay. And then eight yards to Jalen Camp. 11 yards to Jalen Camp. Two-yard rush from Mills. Six yards to camp. So that sets up a third and two. And he hits Brevin Jordan for 19. So we're at the six-yard line right before halftime. Let's let's slow this down. Let's jump in. Let's see if Davis Mills can get a touchdown for the Texans. Mills takes the snap under pressure, and he is dead. And with no timeouts, that's how the half ends. That's beautiful. And on third and eight, Drew Locke throws a pass away. So that would lead to a fourth and eight, and Myers drills the field goal. All right, Davis Mills, back up to you. Four-yard gain. Negative two-yard rush by Reggie Simon, so I guess he's okay. Third and nine, two yards to Cameron Glass. So we will punt it away. All right, so we would get the ball back, and then uh, 
looks like Washington got a pick from Nick Needham. So they get the ball right back, and they start at, like, the 12-yard line, and they get a touchdown. All right, moving the ball okay so far. Davis Mills to Austin Prohl for seven yards. Five-yard rush from Davis Mills. So on first and ten, and complete. Second and ten, loss for a sack of four. And third and 14. Hey, it's Reggie Simon for 16 yards. Okay. Now we head to the fourth quarter, and he hits Austin Prohl for 29. And on first and goal, Davis Mills rushes in for a touchdown. Okay, so two decent passes from Mills to start this drive. Another one to Nico Collins. Then Reggie Simon. Thrown away, and on third and four, throws away. Fourth and four, hits Austin Prohl for eight. Uh, let's go ahead and watch the rest of this drive. Let's see if we can watch Davis Mills do what he's been doing. First and ten, Mills in shotgun. Mills going over the middle, caught by Cameron Glass, and brought down. He hasn't played bad. 16-21 for 181 and a pick. I mean, he's going to need to have one hell of a preseason in order for me to actually start him over Spitzer, because as of right now, Spitzer really kind of can't lose the job. And throws like that are not going to help him. See, can Mills keep the drive alive on third and seven? Goes downfield and misses his man. Oh, but they are going to go for it. All right. Fourth and seven. Mills goes deep to the end zone and incomplete. Let's see what happens on this drive for Washington. Third and four. Seven yard gain. First and ten, six-yard game. Third and five, six-yard gain. Zach Gregory is injured now. One of our draft picks, great. This has not been a great first preseason game. Obviously, Spitzer did not play well. Uh, the O-line did not help him. Sacked for a safety. He didn't throw a pick. He did fumble the ball once, though, which isn't great. And on first and goal, they get a touchdown. Why not? All right, first and ten. Let's see if Davis Mills can do anything on this final drive. Almost throws a pick immediately. And now third and ten. Mills can only play good if I'm not actually watching is what I'm uh, starting to think here. And Mills, all day to throw, goes deep downfield and incomplete. So on fourth and ten, they are going to go for it again. Mills just airs one out again. It stays in bounds, and that is caught on the play. I don't even know who 12 is. I will have to double-check that. Mills stands in the pocket, now goes over the middle, caught by Cameron Glass, and racing down to the field, brought down about the three. 30 seconds ago. I cannot believe he actually hit that pass deep downfield. And Davis Mills stands in the pocket, goes to the end zone, wide open, and I believe that is a touchdown for the Texans. First one we've seen, Austin Prohl. So it's finally over. Uh, obviously not a great game. I think final was 32-14. to 14. Uh, Like I said, obviously you want Spitzer to play a little better than he did. He didn't get rid of the ball. He took a lot of sacks, fumbled once, took one in the end zone. Just an overall pretty horrible performance from our number two overall pick. Drew Locke, 11 of 17 for 100 yards. Mills, 19 of 30. I'm curious, who is 12? I thought 12 was Nico Collins, but I did not want to say the wrong player on a big play. But yeah, he had a very nice play, a 58-yard gain. Do more of that, and you might find yourself on the roster. All right, we are not going to watch every drive with Spitzer this game, but he is going to play... At least three quarters, maybe four quarters. We'll see how it goes. But I want to see a lot of Spitzer today because I don't want to play him really at all in the third game and sack on the play, Chandler Jones. All right, second and 23. Not a great way to start, especially after the way we played last week with Spitzer in at quarterback. And now he goes to the outside and is almost picked off trying to hit, I believe that's John Ross. So now on third and 23, what do you do, Spitzer? You hand the ball off and just punt it away? Or do we heave it and try to get the first? 
We're going to find Tariq Cohen for a short gain and punt it away. Okay, somehow we got the ball back. Cameron Johnson punts for 42 yards, 10-yard penalty against the offense, and then all of a sudden a run by Tariq Cohen. Yeah, for whatever reason, we are back on offense. I guess there was a turnover on Arizona's part. It doesn't really tell me what it is. But either way, we'll take the snap and go to the outside, and he just missed that guy. Third and four. Spencer, you got to be a little more accurate than that, buddy. And that is caught by, I believe, John Ross over the middle, and that's a first down for the Texans. Spencer now hand off to Tariq Cohen, and Cohen is going to get a gain of about two or three there. Spitzer takes the snap under pressure and get rid of it, please. That oblivious to pressure trait is real. Third and 16. Spitzer in shotgun. Have to try to get this first down. Goes to the outside. Got a man open, and I believe 85. That was uh, Robert Tanyan, actually. So we at least finally get a field goal try. So Spencer does lead us to points. He just had to get the ball at like the 50-yard line. Now we have a 3-0 lead. Not watching a whole lot of the defense today because I plan to watch a ton of the offense. Second and 10, a 15-yard penalty. That's cool. First and 10, four-yard loss. And a 16-yard reception to Ertz. First and 10, 14-yard reception James Conner. Rush from Kyler Murray. 11 yards to DeAndre Hopkins. Incomplete pass. Three-yard gain. Let's watch this play. Third and seven. Can we get Kyler Murray in the offense off the field? Pretty big test for our defense. And Kyler rolling to the right side. Nobody's there. Kyler's going to take off and slide down inside the five. All right. First and goal again for Kyler. And handoff James Conner blown up in the backfield by 59, which is Eric Wilson. Second and goal. Hand off to Connor and walks into the end zone untouched. Starting to really look like I should not have taken you with the second overall pick, but I understand it's only two games. So, you know, but you are still playing with starters right now. Goes downfield and he finds a man that is caught for a first down. A 16-yard gain. I believe that should be DJ Chark. Let's see, does he want to go downfield again? He does, and that is dropped by John Ross. It was in coverage. Can't really blame Ross on that one. Wait, hold on. Did he not catch that other pass? I thought that was a first. Yep, it said the pass was knocked away by Buda Baker on that second and nine. I really thought he came down with that. Spitzer, please show something on this offensive possession. Like anything at all. Over the middle, caught and brought down. I believe that is DJ Chark, right? If it wants to show me. Well, it's not going to tell me, but it's a gain of seven. And now a handoff to Tariq Cohen and blown up in the backfield. That'll take us to the end of the first quarter. All right, so all the starters are still in. And now on third and four, Spitzer needs to keep this drive alive. And goes to the outside. That's caught, and he steps out of bounds. And just change of possession again, and that looked like a Arizona touchdown. Let's see how they did it. Kyler Murray passed to Rondale Moore, eight yards. We have 41 total yards of offense, guys. Got to do something. And he finds a man over the middle. All right, that is number three, which should be Floyd Bryan, the wide receiver out of Harvard. So we finally got something through the air. Maybe he can build upon that. Hand off to Tariq Cohen to the outside. Cohen has the first down and a lot more. Cohen down the sideline. 20, 15, 10, 5. Tariq Cohen down at the 1. Finally some life from the offense. Now Spitzer in shotgun down here at the 1-yard line. Let's see what they do. Hand off to Cohen, who walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Now third and ten, and dropped by Zach Ertz. So, looks like Spitzer's going to get the ball back again. First and ten for him. Hand off up the middle, and yeah, Tariq Cohen, you're not going to do that again. 
Second and 11. And I go right back to Cohen, who breaks a tackle and then is hitting the backfield again. No, I think he got a gain of one that time. Nope, it's third and 11 still. Spencer's going to pass. It's going to need to be a quick one. And he finds DJ Shark for the first down, brought down near the 20 yard line. Spitzer under pressure. You're going to need to learn to get rid of the ball, dude. Can I change that trait? Is that something that can be changed at all? Like, I think I can manually go in and edit it, but I don't want to do that. And now a screen pass to Cohen. And great blocking. I believe that's Kyle Long, who just let the defender go right by. All right, Arizona. What are you going to do with the ball now? Now third and ten again. And sacked by Malik Morgan, our rookie first-round pick. And we will just uh, simulate this drive with Spitzer. He hits Robert Tonyan for a 12-yard gain. He hits Floyd Bryan for a 9-yard gain. Hits Cohen for 6. Throws it away. Oh, now you can throw it away. 2nd and 10, 3-yard rush from him. So, a 3rd and 7. Let's see what Spitzer can do on a 3rd and 7 in Arizona territory. He takes the snap and hits his man. DJ Chark breaks a tackle down the sideline and out of bounds inside the 10. Second and goal, then shotgun again. And goes to the outside immediately and misses his guy. I think he had two people open there and missed both of them. I'm just watching one play at a time right now. Third and goal. Spitzer to the end zone, and that is caught for a touchdown by John Ross. So he gets his first career passing touchdown, and it is to the speedster John Ross on a jump ball. And on third and eight, Lonnie Johnson gets an interception. So it tried to sub in all the backups. I went in and I changed a few of the starters and changed some of the receivers around. And I went to put Glass as the running back, but Glass is apparently not in this game right now. For some reason, not even on my depth chart, I guess the progressive fatigue took him out. I may have to turn that off because it's a little annoying. But on second and nine, let's see what Spitzer can do here with Samaj P. Ryan in at running back. And Spitzer gets absolutely decked. That's, that's not what we wanted. Third and eight. Spitzer, I'm sorry you're in there with a the backup O-line. Please don't get hurt. And Spitzer just goes off his back foot, chucks one deep. And that is caught downfield by 17, which is Jalen Camp. Second and goal. Six minutes to go in the third. Hand up to Samaje. Breaks a tackle and brought down at the four. All right, Spitzer, you may have to throw it. Third and goal. And he is going to throw it. He's under pressure, though. He needs to get rid of it. He throws it at the last second. Tipped in the air. Almost caught and falls incomplete. I think Nico Collins had a chance to catch that off the deflection and just couldn't. So now the kick is away, and it is good. So we have a six-point lead here. All right, the Cardinals now have a third and 13, and they hit Juwan Johnson, or Juwan Johnson for a seven-yard gain. So they'll punt it away. Let's see what Spitzer can do now. First and 10 finds Reggie Simon for a 13-yard gain. Finds Reggie Simon for a 10-yard gain. Samaje for four yards. So on first and 10, Simon for 11. Okay, he loves Reggie Simon this drive. First and 10 at the 29. Four-yard rush from Samaje. Second and six. All right, that leads to a third and seven. Can we convert? Third and seven. Five-yard penalty against the defense. So that'll make it a third and two. And a six-yard pass to Floyd Bryan. First and ten. Five-yard rush from Jalen Samuels, who's in the game now. Second and five. Four-yard rush from Spitzer. What was I set up? Third and one from the six. Yeah, let's go ahead and watch that. Third and one from the six-yard line for Spitzer. And goes to the outside. That's caught by Samuels and walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Oh, we actually got a two-point conversion. Didn't even know we were going to try that, but sure. Now Arizona has the ball, and he is sacked by Damone Harris. 
And on third and 18, he throws it away. So now let's see what Spitzer can do again. Five yards from Samaje. 19 to Reggie Simon. He's hit Simon so many times on these last couple drives, and I have yet to see I have yet to see him throw to him once while we're watching. But that leads to a third and thirteen. Let's see, do they convert? Cohen for seven yards, so now field goal. Daniel Carlson, 52 yard field goal. Alright, Arizona's trying to drive on this one. You know Benjamin for 13. And complete. Second and ten. Thrown away. Third and ten. Sacked by Jordan Jenkins. Fourth and 16. And knocked away by Pat Brigantz. I'm going to screw up his name at least one point. I keep wanting to say something else. I don't know what, but I keep almost screwing that up. All right, can we just run the ball now? Six yards from Samuels. Seven yards from Samuels. Seven yards from Samuels. Yep, they're just running the ball. And that will end today's game. So we get a win over Arizona as Spitzer actually played pretty well today. It started really rough. Um, my only concern is when he got good was Arizona's backups. So hopefully that doesn't, you know, mean anything too much because he did, he hit a couple nice throws. The throw to Jalen Camp deep downfield was pretty nice. The ball to John Ross in the end zone that was a jump ball was a pretty decent throw. And he didn't throw a pick today at all. So, I'm cool with that. He didn't even throw a pick in the last game either. But now, let's go ahead and jump to the last preseason game. Uh, before we get in, we do have a press conference for a camp standout. Jonathan Greener had a strong camp. Uh, let's do stopping the run block shedding. Game plus five block shedding. Why are all three of our preseason games road games? Ooh, someone does get an upgrade, though. Tariq Cohen has an upgrade before we jump into this last preseason game. And now we get to play against Deshaun Watson. Luckily, only in the preseason, though. All right, Spitzer will get one drive and the rest of the starters, except for Tariq Cohen, because I put in glass because he didn't get to play last week. So Spitzer gets one drive, and on the first play, he is sacked. Why is that a trend? Now he comes out with no one in the backfield. I wonder what he's doing on this play. Hopefully... Oh, no, it's actually QB draw. I did not expect that at all on 2nd and 21. Now on 3rd and 19, let's see what Spitzer can do. Takes the snap. Rolls out to his right. You need to get rid of it and just throws it away. All right, at least he knows how to do that. But yeah, no, that is his one drive today. That That's all we're seeing of Joe Spitzer today. Next time you see him, we'll be week one against the Jets. And the Dolphins apparently gave Deshaun Marino's number, so that's awesome. We'll actually watch the first drive of Deshaun Watson as quarterback of the Miami Dolphins against us just to see what they do. And because we didn't watch much defense in the last game. All right, Deshaun takes the snap to the outside. Open, first down, and finally brought down for a gain of 16 yards. All right, Deshaun drops back, goes over the middle, and that is caught by Devontae Parker. And that's a gain of about 13. Deshaun takes the snap, goes to the outside, and has another open man. First down, Miami. Spencer just get just lose the helmet and everything. You're not going back in. Next, we're gonna watch Davis Mills for a drive. Third and three. Deshaun takes the snap, goes to the outside, and caught by Jazeki, but immediately forced down. And I'm trying to figure out like, who that is. 27. Didn't even get to check his last name. Oh, it's McLeod. They're going to go for it on fourth and two from the five-yard line. All right, Deshaun. Play action. Goes to the end zone. Touchdown. I believe that's Jazeki. Maybe. Yep, it is Jazeki. All right, so Davis Mills is now in at quarterback. And his first throw is a throwaway. Second throw is a throwaway. 
And third throw is a sack for a loss of six. Great start, Davis. Pat Brigance knocked away a pass from Deshaun Watson. All right. Three yards from Chase Edmonds. And on third and seven, Malik Morgan sacks Deshaun Watson. So we get the ball back. Knocked away by Brandon Jones. Second and ten. Incomplete. Third and ten. Four yards from Davis Mills, and they will punt. Miami putting together a decent drive. Uh, there is a 15-yard penalty that did help them, though. And now on second and 10, hits Jazeki for 15. And now from about the six-yard line, Edmonds for a gain of five. And on second and goal, Edmonds into the end zone. Davis Mills sacked by Raquan Davis for a loss of six. So Mills is not having a great day. And now we head to the second quarter. And on second and 16, Davis Mills throws it away. And on third and 16, he is sacked for a loss of eight. Fourth and 24, they punt it away. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to sim to the end of this game because there's really nothing else we need to see. And I accidentally just clicked to the end of the quarter, but it'll still be all right. Someone did score, though. Brevin Jordan, four-yard pass from Davis Mills. And yeah, we'll just sim to the end of this one. This is not a very important preseason game. The important preseason game was game two, where we saw that Spitzer can actually make quick decisions, get the ball out, score touchdowns. That's what we needed to see. Realistically, we are not going to be able to compete this season with the teams like Arizona, whenever they have their starters in. Even Washington's defense in the game is really good. So so now I have to cut 14 players. First, we're going to do is move some people to the practice squad. Like Alex Norton going to the practice squad. Wide receiver Jalen Camp is going to go to the practice squad. Uh, we're going to cut Jake Eldrin Camp. Because he is just not a very good guard. Levi Hawkins. He was a draft pick, I believe. But we're going to move him to the practice squad. We're going to move Dante Jett to the practice squad. John Bonds is going to go to the practice squad. We are just going to cut Jonathan Owens. Now I have the problem of I still have seven moves to make. And no one else I really want to get rid of. Austin Prohl... Played decent for us, but I feel like he's going to be buried on this depth chart. So I'm going to cut Austin Prohl. I'm going to cut Justin McCray. He might get taken off the practice squad, but I'm going to move Garrett Wallow to the practice squad. I'm going to cut cornerback Ken Webster. I'm going to cut cornerback Tavier. Tavier? I don't know. Either way, he's getting cut. And I'm going to cut TJ Green. And I'm going to move Charlie Heck to the practice squad. So we made our 14 moves. Now I can advance to the regular season. Camp standout again. Every year there's players who ball out in the preseason and don't end up doing anything once the actual season starts. I think you're different, but it's time to prove it. Never been more ready, coach. I didn't put all the work in just to come up short. I'm here to make plays and help this team win. Well, I hope so. Set season goal. I'll be completely honest with you guys. Four wins. That's what I expect out of this team. Opening day key to victory. It's opening day this week and a fresh start for every team around the league. And you'll be facing the Jets. What's the key to victory? We're going to go stifling defense. Uh, stuffing the run. Maybe a bad idea. Beat the Jets, allow less than 75 yards rushing. Oh, that's a horrible idea. That's not happening. Press conference, rookie QB1. Uh, we're going to say he needs to show flashes. We show him to be himself. There's definitely an expectation for him to make plays, but there's no need to put the world on his back already. I'd say that that's, that's a good answer. All right, going over the final depth chart before week one, we have quarterback Joe Spitzer. Running back Tariq Cohen, backed up by Cameron Glass. Fullback is Jalen Samuels, if that matters. Wide receiver one is DJ Chark, followed by John Ross, followed by Floyd Bryan, followed by Reggie Simon. Tight end, obviously Robert Tanyan, or Tanyan, however you want to say it. Left tackle is Laramie Tunsil. Left guard, Titus Howard. 
Center, Ross Freeman. Right guard, Kyle Long. And right tackle, DJ Fluker. Now, at center, the reason I'm starting Freeman over Britt is because pass blocking, not much difference. Pass block power, not much difference. He's actually higher in pass block finesse. Run block power, there's not a ton of difference. He's higher, or that's just run block. Run block power, he's higher. Run block finesse, he's a little lower. Impact blocking, 82. Lead block, 81. Stamina, 96. Toughness, injury. And he has at least a star dev trait, so... We're going with Ross Freeman. Left end, Jacob Barton. Right end, Jonathan Greenard. Defensive tackle, Malik Collins and Ross Blacklock. In rotation, Roy Lopez and Harold Crawford. Left outside linebacker will be first round pick, Malik Morgan. Middle linebacker will be Eric Wilson. Right outside linebacker will be Zach Cunningham. Backed up by Sean Colvin, the undrafted rookie. Defensive back number one, we have Jason Verrett, followed by Desmond King and Pat Brigance. Jimmy Moreland and Terrence Mitchell both kind of round out the rest of the DBs there. Free safety is Justin Reed, backed up by Rodney McLeod. Strong safety is Landon Collins, backed up by Lonnie Johnson. Our kicker, as you know, is Daniel Carlson. Punter is going to be Cameron Johnston. Kick returner is going to be Cameron Glass. Punt returner is going to be Tariq Cohen. Our third down back is Cohen, and our power back is Samaj P. Ryan. Our wide receiver in the slot will be Floyd Bryan. Our rushing left end will be Jonathan Greenard. Our rushing right end will actually be Malik Morgan. Rushing defensive tackles Malik Collins. Sub linebacker is Rodney McLeod. I just feel like that was a decent way to use him, especially with his high hit power. Slot cornerback is Pat Brigance. And then our practice squad is Alex Norton, Reggie Bagleton. It looks like the CPU added a few of these. Jalen Camp, Daniel Shepard, Charlie Heck, Casey Tuhill, Tommy McPhee, Levi Hawkins, Dante Jett, Garrett Wallow, Juju Hughes, and John Bonds. So that is the preseason. I honestly don't know what to expect from the regular season out of this team. Like I said, I clicked four wins. This first game, I think, is a pretty good matchup for us. It's two teams that aren't great. We're both 75 overall. Their defense is rated a little better, but our offenses are rated the same. So we will see how the next video goes. I'll probably play that game and then simulate a few weeks. But either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed episode two, and I will talk to you guys next time.